Well, guys, let's learn a little bit about these runners. Atse is a CAD husband from Macedonia running SolidWorks, and Overfly is a mechanical engineer and CAD enthusiast from Switzerland running ZW 3D. And Atse is our number four seed. Overfly is our number 13 seed. So if that last match was any indicator, I think these are going to be pretty close. And uh, maybe you yeah. could maybe you could tell us a little bit more about these runners. Cool. It looks like I'd say uh, this is everything we build. We build at home. This is a great, great design approach. My dad's much the same way. He uh, he does as much as he can himself, and then when he doesn't know how to do something, he tries to learn it. Um, Self-taught SolidWorks as well. Um, just awesome. And he learned about the S key in the two tall Toby video. I also oh, nice. really learned about the S key in the two tall Toby video. Nice. Uh, I knew it was there, but I didn't know you could customize it, and I didn't see you know didn't know how powerful it was until until some of your videos. Shout out to the S key. Um, yeah, and then Overfly uh, has had his entire career only at a tractor development uh, company doing hydraulics. Looks like nice. And he's had quite a few different uh, CAD systems. So Solid Edge since 2019, PTC Creo uh, since 2017, and then ZW3D for hobby use. That's uh, cool. He also has Onshape and NX experience. Wow. So all that CAD experience, and he's gonna he's <laughs> using ZW3D just to kind of show it off and get some exposure. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah I really like that. Cool. Well, guys, here we go. Our number four seed versus our number 13 seed. Macedonia versus Switzerland. SolidWorks versus ZW3D. Let's go. Let's get into it with this very first CAD battle between these Titans. This CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? This part has a tolerance of plus or minus four grams. Our runners are grabbing a screen capture so that they can model this up. You can do the same at home. And boy, these guys are fast. They're both getting into it already. Let's flip over so we don't miss any of the action. ZW3D on the left, on the right. SolidWorks on the left. Ace starting out here kind of looking at this thing in a, a almost like a layout approach, kind of laying out those two angles for this thing. I like that approach. I think that's that's a good approach. Yeah, he's also using, I noticed him adding in the dimensions uh, as he went. So, you know, putting in that 150 on the line uh, as he uh, drew it. That's something also picked up from a TTT video. Yo, Not let's something go. I use anymore, though. Because I find that when I start my sketches and, you know, I start, you know, doing that first line and I put in, I don't know, 600 millimeters. Now my, you know, line end points all the way on the end of the screen. It doesn't auto scale it then. Yeah, yeah, that's the trade-off. That's exactly right. You end up like not yeah. getting that cool auto scaling. Yeah. So and Z and it looks like Z ZW three D already in there. Already got some solid geometry. Already got that angled shape. Already got the tombstone shape. So very impressive. It looks almost like he's able to access a library of of uh, solids or of primitives in ZW three D. Haven't really had a chance to see this cat in action yet. So very excited to mm -hmm. see what kind of tools we have looks like that was some kind of a drag and drop and then a boolean command to merge them yeah it's pretty interesting i also saw uh i'd say make use of the uh thin feature extrude one of my favorite tools yep a good one when it's available i like this approach yeah. here of doing that cut uh, i'd say doing the cut extrude with the uh with the draft on it that's a mm -hmm. that's a pro move right there It looks like a lot of what ZW3D is doing is kind of like drag and dropping these primitives into place and then just modifying them once they're in place. So that's really interesting. He was able to use that to create the solid geometry for the extrusion, but then he was able to use it again to create the cut geometry here for this hole. So this is a this is an interesting approach. Definitely interesting. And I mean a lot of a lot of parts can be simplified to just Oh, here's a rectangle, you know, box, and, and then you subtract a triangle from it. So yes, true. Def by no means a, a a primitive way of modeling. It's it works well. Yes. Yep. I don't think we have any uh, 
anti Ivan exploit features here, but maybe I'll hold my tongue. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's very true. Um, I try to just kind of keep that bottom region pretty simple, but I really like uh, Ace's approach here of dropping in a rectangle, fully defining the rectangle, and then uh, using that with with combination of whole wizard. That's a man. That's a really solid approach. Everything I'm seeing Ace doing here so far. I mean, he's we already knew he was going to be a competitor. But this was basically a flawless run that we've seen so far. Yeah. So very, very impressive. We'll see what well, he Well, the other thing to note with, with Hole Wizard, if you're using that, it, and, and when you go to the positions part, it's making a new sketch. So you can do all those same rectangles and everything. True, else. very true. So Ace dropping in his answer 3558 five, grams. And that is correct. So well yeah. done to Ace. His first time in the tournament, his first match, taking it down, doing a little victory yeah, dance there. Model. Yeah, very, very nice. Great run. Like I said, I didn't really see anything that, that looked out of line there with what he was doing. So very impressive run all around. Nice job. And really cool to see ZW3D as well from Overfly. I think it's, like I said before, I think it's so cool that he's got all this cat experience with other cat systems, but he's decided to use ZW3D for the competition. I think we all really appreciate being able to see that uh, 